Patrol Track Mini The Patrol Track Mini is an innovative all-terrain vehicle that combines elements of a tank, skateboard, and motocross bike. DTV stands for Dual Track Vehicle, emphasizing its dual tracks that provide superior off-road capability. This rugged machine is powered by a 208 cubic centimeters engine, delivering 14 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour. Its design enables it to conquer various terrains, including sand, snow, mud, and gravel, making it a versatile option for outdoor enthusiasts, military operations, and extreme sports. Rams Mobile RM X2. The Rams Mobile RM X2 is a luxury hypercar like SUV with a futuristic, rugged design that blends off road capability with high end features. Designed by Rams Group, this vehicle is built for both extreme terrains and elite luxury. The RM X2 comes in various versions, including carbon, titanium, and even a fully bulletproof option. It is powered by a choice of engines, including a 6.2L V8 or a 6.6L Duramax diesel engine, offering up to 999 horsepower. The vehicle is equipped with cutting-edge off-road technology, including an adjustable suspension, advanced 4x4 drivetrain, and large, rugged wheels. Inside the RM, X2 offers a bespoke, high-end interior with premium materials, including leather and carbon fiber, and features like ambient lighting, a top-tier sound system, and fully customized. Scandinavian TL6 The Scandinavian TL6 is a robust all-terrain vehicle designed for demanding off-road conditions. Manufactured by Scandinavian Terrain Vehicles, SDVB, the TL6 is built with a reliable Volvo slash Allison drivetrain and Haglund's track drive system making it ideal for both snow and soft terrain operations. It boasts a spacious crew cabin that can accommodate six passengers plus a driver, offering a payload capacity of up to 4,240 kilograms. This vehicle is designed for maximum comfort and efficiency, featuring state-of-the-art ergonomics and durability. The TL6's low ground pressure and high working capacity make it perfect for search and rescue, firefighting, and wind park operations, Removing personnel and equipment safely and efficiently is essential. Stvab. Pitch Book. Waymo. Waymo is an autonomous driving technology company and a subsidiary of Alphabet Incorporated, Google's parent company. As of 2024, Waymo is pioneering the development of self-driving vehicles, primarily focusing on two key services, Waymo One and Waymo Via. Waymo One. This is a ride-hailing service using fully autonomous vehicles without human drivers. Initially launched in Phoenix, Arizona, it has expanded to other cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles. The service uses a fleet of electric Jaguar I-PACE SUVs and Chrysler Pacifica hybrid minivans equipped with Waymo's proprietary autonomous driving system, which includes a combination of LiDAR, cameras, and radar. Waymo Via. This service focuses on autonomous delivery and freight transportation. Waymo has partnered with logistics and freight companies like UPS to integrate self-driving technology into trucks for long haul and last mile delivery. In 2024, Waymo NGC Safe Flight The NGC Safe Light Regional Vehicle, SLRV, is an innovative concept developed as part of the next generation car, NGC, project by the German Aerospace Center, DLR. It's a lightweight, two-seater vehicle designed for local, emissions-free mobility. The vehicle's key feature is its unique metal sandwich body structure which combines a metal outer layer with a foam core. This design offers high safety performance while keeping the weight extremely low at only 450 kilograms. 
The SLRV is powered by a fuel cell hybrid system, providing Dare. The Mahindra Dardet E is an electric off-road concept unveiled in August 2023. It marks Mahindra's shift towards sustainable mobility, combining the rugged DNA of the iconic there with electric power. Built on the INGLO EV platform, which Mahindra shares with its Born Electric SUV range, the Dardet-E showcases a modern design with squared-off aesthetics, a closed front grille, and futuristic LED lighting. It retains the boxy, muscular silhouette that is a signature of the Dar. The Dar de E is not merely an electric variant of the existing Dar, but a complete reimagining for the future. It is expected to feature a 4x4 all wheel drive system, providing strong off road capabilities while being eco friendly. The INGLO platform offers fast charging, a range of advanced features, and flexible battery configurations, potentially offering long driving ranges. Raymetal Master XT The Raymetal Master XT is a cutting-edge, all-terrain military vehicle designed for rugged performance and versatility. Developed by Raymetal, this vehicle is part of the Master family, aimed at addressing the mobility needs of modern armed forces. The Master XT is built to handle extreme conditions, offering superior off-road capabilities and a high payload capacity. Its design prioritizes modularity, allowing for various configurations depending on mission requirements. The vehicle can be outfitted with different weapon systems, communication suites, and sensor arrays, making it adaptable for reconnaissance, transport, and combat roles. Powered by a robust engine, the Master XT is equipped with advanced suspension systems and enhanced armor protection, ensuring survivability in hostile environments. It also features state-of-the-art electronic systems, including integrated command and control C2 capabilities, allowing it to operate effectively in network combat scenarios. High Sea Wamis The High Sea Wamis is Canada's newest electric tugboat, set to revolutionize marine operations with its environmentally friendly design. Built by Samar Shipyards in Turkey, the High Sea Wamis was delivered to Vancouver in 2023, where it will serve as part of a five-tugboat fleet under the operation of High Sea Marine, a joint venture between the Haisla Nation and C-SPAN. This tugboat is powered entirely by battery, making it a pioneering zero-emission vessel. With a capacity of 6.1 megawatt hours, the High Sea Wamis can operate for seven to eight hours on a single charge, providing excellent endurance for its duties at sea. The tug's design not only reduces greenhouse gas emissions, but also minimizes noise pollution, enhancing marine life protection in the region. The High Sea Wamis will primarily be used to support LNG Canada's liquefied natural gas export terminal in Kitimat, British Columbia. Yulak Os, the Yulak AUSV, armed unmanned surface vehicle is Turkey's latest addition to its naval defense technology, developed by the Turkish defense companies Ares Shipyard and Metexan Defense. First revealed in 2021, the ULAQ is designed for a wide range of missions including reconnaissance, surveillance, intelligence gathering, surface warfare, and escorting naval assets. Key features include a maximum speed of around 65 km per hour and a range of up to 400 km. The vehicle can operate both autonomously and via remote control. It is equipped with advanced communication systems that allow secure data transmission over long distances, and it can be integrated with various weapons, such as missiles. Jetar T2 Stargazer The Jetar T2 Stargazer, launched in 2024, is a bold and futuristic SUV from Jetar, a sub-brand of Cherry Automobile. This vehicle is part of Jatour's Travel Plus strategy, emphasizing adventure, style, and advanced technology. The T2 Stargazer showcases a rugged design with aggressive front fascia, robust wheel arches, and off-road capabilities, targeting the outdoor enthusiast market. Inside, the T2 Stargazer offers a premium experience, featuring a dual-screen setup, ambient lighting, and advanced driver assistance systems ADAS. The interior is spacious and equipped with high-quality materials, 
making it both comfortable and durable for long journeys. Under the hood, the Jet RT2 Stargazer is expected to come with multiple powertrain options, including turbocharged petrol engines and possibly hybrid or electric variants, reflecting the brand's push towards eco-friendly technologies. Bush Plane The term Bush Plane typically refers to aircraft designed for operations in remote, rugged terrains with minimal infrastructure. These planes are often used for accessing areas that are otherwise difficult to reach by conventional means, such as in wilderness areas, remote outposts, or undeveloped regions. Recent developments in bush planes have focused on improving versatility, safety, and performance for challenging environments. Newer models like the Cub Crafters X-Cub and the Kit Fox D exemplify modern bush planes, featuring advanced lightweight materials, high lift wings for short takeoffs and landings, SDOL, and robust landing gear designed for uneven, rough surfaces. The integration of modern avionics, GPS navigation systems, and powerful yet fuel-efficient engines has increased reliability and ease of operation. Some bush planes are also being adapted to use alternative fuels or hybrid electric power, aiming to reduce their... Austal USA. Austal USA, a key shipbuilder for the U.S. Navy, has been actively expanding its capabilities. Recently, the company was awarded a contract modification worth $54.9 million to construct two additional landing craft utility, LCU, 1,700 class vessels, bringing the total to five under construction. These heavy lift vessels are designed to transport vehicles, troops, and cargo during amphibious operations. With a payload capacity of 170 tons, they feature roll-on slash roll-off capabilities and can be deployed from Navy amphibious ships. Naval News In addition, Austal USA recently broke ground on a new final assembly facility at its mobile Alabama shipyard. This facility will enhance production capacity for U.S. Navy and Coast Guard vessels, including offshore patrol cutters and Tagos, 25 ocean surveillance ships. The expansion includes advanced ship... TIV-2 The TIV-2, Tornado Intercept Vehicle 2, is a heavily modified storm-chasing vehicle designed to withstand extreme tornado conditions. Built by Sean Casey and featured in the Discovery Channel Storm Chaser series, this beast of a vehicle was engineered for both safety and filming tornadoes up close. The TIV-2 is an upgraded version of the original TIV, featuring a more robust design, increased mobility, and better protection. Weighing in at around 14,000 pounds, the TIV-2 is built on a modified Dodge Ram 3500 chassis and is powered by a 6.7-liter Cummins turbo diesel engine. Its armor consists of thick steel, plating, and bulletproof windows, allowing it to resist flying debris during close encounters with tornadoes. Hydraulic panels can be lowered to the ground to prevent wind from lifting the vehicle. The TIV-2 also includes a state-of-the-art weather radar, enabling its team to monitor storm conditions in real time. It is Prynith Raptor 100 and 200. The Prynith Raptor 100 and 200 are versatile, compact tracked vehicles designed for efficient land clearing, forestry management, and vegetation control. These high-performance machines are equipped with powerful mulchers that are well-suited for tackling dense underbrush, overgrown vegetation, and small to medium-sized trees. Raptor 100. The Raptor 100 is the smaller of the two, designed for lighter tasks with agility and precision. It features a 75-horsepower engine, and its compact size allows it to navigate tight spaces in uneven terrains. Its low ground pressure ensures minimal impact on the environment, making it ideal for sensitive areas. Raptor 200. The Raptor 200 is more powerful, featuring a 200-horsepower engine and a larger mulching head. It is built for heavier-duty applications, capable of clearing larger areas quickly.